guys, welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl, and today we are doing my pretty classics haul. So I've seen other booktubers like Super Space Chick and a couple other people do similar things like themed hauls. I know that Super Space Chick did a like pretty classics haul type thing as well, and I thought that was a great idea because I have been finding pretty beautiful type classics, which are the ones that I personally like to have. I've been saving them for probably the last four months <laughs> to do this video. I finally have 10, so I am able to do this video now and I'm really excited. So these are all classic books, so if you're not into that, I have plenty of other haul videos for you. I'll link them down below in the description. If you do like seeing pretty classics like I do, then stay tuned. So first we're going to start off with a couple that I received for Christmas. These are the only books that I received for Christmas, which is why I didn't do a Christmas book haul. People are now intimidated by my giant TBR shelf, so they are no longer purchasing books for me for special occasions, which is okay. But my husband does feel comfortable shopping in the classic sections because I don't have a lot of classic books and he knows which ones I like and which ones I need. So he picked up the picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde for me. This is one of the Barnes & Noble like leather bound um, soft covers, which are really beautiful and excellent. They're just, uh, they're so pretty. They're like embossed. And this one has green pages and they have, they have like watercolor in papers. This is an adult classic so it doesn't have any illustrations, but this is one that I do plan to read in October. It is on my list for October. He might even read it with me. I have never read or really known much about the picture of Dorian Gray. All I know is that this handsome wealthy guy receives a painting of himself and he kind of becomes obsessed with it and I think the painting starts to age instead of him but I've heard amazing things about this and it's a lot of people's favorite classic so I'm really excited to read it more towards like Halloween. Then he got me The Adventures of a Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. I'm sure that I read this back in middle school, but I do not remember it, and he doesn't either. And he said it was one of his favorites back then. So this is the one that we're going to read together as well at some point, possibly this spring. And so this one is also a leather-bound, soft-bound, classic, watercolored. It's like yellow, tan in pages has beautiful gold embossing. It has also, these also have the wonderful quotes on the back from the book and they're just it's so beautiful. Also the spines. I don't think I showed you the spine of this one. Hold on. Look at these. So beautiful. I have Frankenstein in this edition as well so they look really nice together. With some of my extra Christmas money I purchased one book for the start of January. I've been purchasing like one book that I really really have been wanting. At the beginning of the month that's kind of my goal for 2019 and I went with Black Beauty. Let's open this up because it's not open yet. I tend to keep them in the plastic a long time but I want to show you guys what it looks like. So I picked up Black Beauty by Anna Swell or Sewell. Again, I think I read this in middle school, but I've been just rereading all my old childhood favorites. So this is one that I'm fairly certain I'm going to like. These are $10 at Burns & Noble. These are the leather-bound, hard-bound kids classics. I don't purchase, per, usually purchase books like this unless I know that I like it, but I'm pretty sure that I like this one. These also have like gold embossing um, for certain books, and it has a quote on the back. and beautiful in papers they're like poppies this one has gold edged pages and the kids classics do have really cool illustrations and i believe they're the original illustrations that either came out like when the books were first published so they're very nostalgic in that way and this is like a nice peach leather with the like black beauty sticker on it so i have quite a few of these i do want to get to this one this year and I just want to purchase these before they change them out because sometimes they like trade them out and do other classics instead and I'm just slowly collecting them. Next up I want to talk about a couple that are not leather bound, Barnes & Noble classics, which most of the books that I have are. So if you guys are familiar with my videos you've seen in my regular hauls that I have been looking for these really old school antique versions of the Chronicles of Narnia and I had five of the books and I've been missing two. I still need a better version of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe because because it's kind of got some tearing in it, but I don't know why. I went to the same library bookstore that I found them in before and I found the last two. So I found The Voyage of the Dawn Treader and The Horse and His Boy. These, I think, were published in the 70s. Um, the original books were published in the 50s, but these are the 70s version, so I consider them to be kind of like antiques. And they're just really cool. They're, these are like orange, but the, all the rest of mine are, are blue. 
but they're just like the coolest antique books. I do consider these classics. And they have, so this is a nice red leather book and then it has like a dragon on the front, which is awesome. And these also have illustrations in them. So I don't know if you can see. They're so cool. Let's see what the other one has. I might do like a whole video on this because I'm like literally obsessed with these books. Okay, so this one just says The Horse and His Boy. I do have two copies of the silver chair because I found an extra and the book colors were different and the book image was different, which was interesting. So they must have printed these more than once in the 70s. The All of the ones I do have are really faded. So they must have come from like the same person who like had them um, near a window or something, but oh, oh my god, I love them so much. I'm rereading these right now. The wrap up might already be up about it. If it is, I will post it down below, but one of my favorite series of all time, a true classic, and they're beautiful. Next up for 25 cents at this special store that I go to, I found this Swiss Family at Robinson. This is an older version, Barnes & Noble, leather bound classic. I do have an updated version of this story, but similar to those other ones, this has silver sprayed edges. This one definitely has some water damage on it. I don't know if you can tell that it's definitely a little bit more beat up, but it was 25 cents. So do I really care? Not really. And it does have like an inscription in the, in the cover, but whatever. <laughs> this has the cool in papers as well. It also has the original illustrations. Let me find one here for you. Look at that, it's like a turtle swimming. These also have the built-in bookmarks, which is really nice, and of course the quotes on the back. I've never read The Swiss Family Robinson, but I think it's about a family that winds up getting like trapped on an island. I could be totally wrong about that. <laughs> but this is a bigger one of the kids' classics. It's like 530 pages, so I don't know if I'll get to it this year, but it's going on my shelf. Another older Barnes & Noble leather-bound classic. This is Jules Verne, four novels, five weeks in a balloon, a journey to the center of the earth, 20,000 leagues under the sea, and around the world in 80 days. And it has this amazing octopus and this balloon. And on the back, there's a compass and it's got gold leather pages and a oh, balloon in papers. So this is four books in one and it's definitely got more of like a Bible um, a feel to it as far as like the pages go. They're very thin and look at that writing. It's super dense. Um, this book is over 600 pages but I bet it's going to read more like an 800 page book and there are separate stories in here which I can count individually. I don't normally like these bind ups but since this was like literally 50 cents and it's absolutely beautiful I am definitely adding it to my list. Then I found a penguin cloth bound classic. This is a Christmas Carol and other writings by Charles Dickens. So this is a Christmas Carol with a bunch of his other Christmassy stories. I found this around the holidays. I didn't get to it, but I love it. It's got this white cloth snowflake fabric on it. It doesn't have colored in pages, but it does have the built-in bookmark. There are illustrations in this one as well. I really love these cloth bound classics and I don't see them very often. And I got this one for a dollar. Who left? I found The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne, again in an older Barnes & Noble leather bound. This one's interesting because this is the hard bound leather bound with the black leather, but it has red spray pages instead of like the metallic ones, and, but it also has the watercolor. So it's weird because it's similar to the leather bound soft bound books, but it has a hard bound cover, which is kind of interesting. So, and then it does have the quote on the back and no illustrations because this is an adult novel, I believe. This classic is about a girl who basically gets like bullied or abused for, for people thinking that she is like a whore. I think that's what it is. I cannot remember for the life of me. I know I read part of this or something, but this is going to be a rougher classic for me to get to, so it's a little lower on my list, but it's beautiful. And then lastly, I found this giant beautiful blue leather with gold pages. Again, Barnes & Noble leather-bound classic of the Arabian Nights translated by Sir Richard F. Burton. So this is, again, has like these like Bible style pages that are just super thin and incredibly dense. Look at that. Those end pages are amazing. There are several, several, several stories in here with beautiful, beautiful illustrations. Uh, this one has a lot of illustration because the stories are shorter, closer to like that of like a Grimm's fairy tale book. 
so beautiful. With Aladdin coming out soon, I thought that this was like really good timing so I can read this or at least read Aladdin before the movie comes out. Again, this will be one that I'm going to get through a lot slower because it's the story collection and there's just a lot of things in here, but it's so amazing and beautiful and I love it so much. Let me know if you guys prefer this versus just putting them in my book house as I'm getting them. I personally prefer it because I like to kind of see how long it takes me to find the amount of classics that I have. So this took me like four or five months. I enjoy watching the videos this way, so let me know if you guys like this as well. Let me know if you're into classics at all. Let me know if you like the pretty leather bound ones. It makes me like more motivated to read them when they're beautiful. <laughs> as weird as that sounds, I have quite a few of them already. Let me know if you guys love reading classics, if you're excited for me to read any of these, if you've loved any of these. Do you hate classics? Do you not read them at all? Let me know down below in the comments because I'd love to chat about it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time on The Bright Side. Bye! They're so heavy, oh my god!